young worshipers, come join me. We have such an exciting day. There's so much to cover. There's so much to talk about. So first, things look a little different, right? Noticing what? What do we notice? The candles. Yes, our Advent wreath. Freya? You noticed there were angel feathers. Friends, I think angels have visited our sanctuary. Do you see the, the witnesses of that all around us? Yeah, good, good catch. What else are you noticing? Yes, the banners up here, the altar pyramids. Color blue. Do you remember what last Sunday was, congregation? Reign of Christ, Christ the King. Blue. Blue is the season where, or the, the color blue is what we use for Advent because it is a royal color in tradition. And so it remembers that Jesus is king and we welcome him with royal blue. So that's why we use blue during Advent. Well, awesome. So there's so many things to hear. So first of all, you walked out into the sanctuary and you saw those cool panels of art. Guess what you can do? You can pose in front of those, and it looks like you are an angel, right? Have somebody take a picture. Congregation, same for you. Take some pictures in front of those. Become an angel among us. There's also the feathers. Feel free to take one of those home to remind you about our season of Advent and our worship theme about angels being among us. Finally, in the back, during communion, you're welcome to take one of those little angel cutout wings and either draw or paint on them and you can come back and we can hang them on our tree and decorate our tree. Congregation, you're welcome to write messages of hope on those and hang them on our tree as well during communion. There's also a fun little card that you can take that has a message of hope on it that you can give to somebody that you know or that you think needs a message of hope. Same goes for you, congregation. These are all things for you to keep carrying the message out of these doors and into our community, right? Last, let's talk about those angel feathers. Before we do it, can we just take a moment to close our eyes? Wiggle your toes a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And let's prepare our minds and our ears and our hearts to open to God's word and hear those messages of hope. All right, let's open. So now... I've got this basket of feathers, and I want you each to take one. So these feathers, right? They're a fun way to remind us of angels, right? Now, not all angels look like they have white wings, right? Angels come in all different forms and sizes. And if we talk about Old Testament angels, you might have a different impression about angels. <laughs> but for our purposes, we're going to talk about how this little white feather can be so many different things. And throughout our time in Advent, we're going to talk about all the ways we can envision this feather being different things for Advent. Starting with, what do we do when we want to welcome a guest? What do we do at home? We make the house tidy. Fantastic. So, do you know what dusters usually were made out of? Feathers. Can we tidy up our altar space real quickly? Will you just help me kind of tidy up a little bit here? Just a little bit of dusting here, yeah. So we're preparing for a big visitor, right? And we want to make sure our space is hospitable and clean and all ready. Yeah, maybe a little bit of dusting of ourselves here, yeah. A little bit of this, yeah, a little bit of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just one way that we prepare for visitors is we do a little bit of cleaning and preparation. We get rid of the stuff that maybe we don't need, right? And make room for that visitor to make more room, how about in our hearts, right? So that's just one way we can look at these duster feathers. Well, well let's, let's just take a little moment and let's pray together. So let's take a seat. All right, and again, let's close our eyes. Hold our feathers in our hands. Feel how soft they are. And we pray, God, thank you for giving us lots of different ways we can be reminded to make room for visitors and messages of hope during this season of Advent. We're so grateful for all the ways that you show up for us in our lives and remind us of your love and grace. And we say, amen.
Thank you for joining me. Go ahead and take these feathers back. And again, there's lots of stuff for you to do out in the narthex and play with, so have fun.